guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get a zombie into cauldron with somewhat ease. It's still a little difficult, but easy enough. So let's just get right into it. No, no dilly-dallying. So basically, you know, you're going to find this useful building, like, say, maybe, like, an iron farm, most common situation. Uh, this is one of the worst spawns. I mean, this is a great spawn, because they got two rare biomes next to each other. Well, three if you count a swamp, but they're not that rare. Even in an extreme house. So, it's kind of a terrible spawn, but a great spawn at the same time. Surprisingly, there's no, well, no real planes in the area, but... No, um, spoke too soon. But anyways, over here is pro will probably be a good area. It's somewhat flat. So let's uh, get villager. So we're gonna do this somewhat in survival. Subscribe, cobbles, not zobble. We're just gonna be giving ourselves the materials to do it. We're not gonna be building an iron farm. We're just gonna be doing the actual thing in survival. You're gonna need trap doors, two of them to be exact. Um, we're gonna need a call you should already have all the structures really built up um we're not we're gonna be uh, just building the villager like little villager containment thing here this is for situations where you already have the villager in for the iron farm per se which makes it a little harder so there's a villager and say uh so let's uh this is gonna be the villager and like one two three got the cauldron Probably lagging so much. Oh, it's probably because I'm a render distance at 64 chunks. That might have something to do with it, you know? Smoother. So, um, we gotta go two blocks up. Right here. Not there, not there. Or, actually, no, so, so basically, uh, we're gonna go survive now. If, I think we have all the materials. Yeah, I think we do. So, oh, we're gonna need, like, one, two, three, like four, around four boats. We're also gonna give ourselves a, um, a sword. It's gonna do like a effect. Give it a, a strength. A there we go, I should be able to one-shot mobs. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yep, I'm able to one-shot mobs. Let's... Okay, so basically, ne once you have like basically this setup, those are where the villagers are gonna be, that's where zombies are gonna be. Oh, we need to give ourselves a golden spawner too. Okay. Huh. Are you not able to get an iron golem spawn egg or something? Is iron golem spawn egg even a thing? I'm pretty sure it's a thing. No, I don't think it's a thing, is it? We're gonna need iron blocks. It's kind of hard to simulate this. Nope. So there's a golem. So basically, um, we're just gonna have this guy wander around. So basically, when you bring in the zombie, the villagers are going to spawn a golem because they get immediately scared. What you want to do is try and trap this guy. So, j just trap him any way possible. I didn't think about that, did, did I? Two stacks should do. We want to trap this guy in any way possible. Don't have to look pretty, just gotta trap them. There we go. Now he shouldn't be able to kill the zombie that spawns. Because, you know, that'd just be generally annoying. You'll have to tear that down at the end, though. 
So basically what you want to do is that's probably going to be where your hole is and right under it. You want to do make a little staircase. We've done it too close. Uh, I think... Yep, right here. So basically what you want to do is place a trap door here and I need another trap door. Yeah, that'll work. Any trap door will work. Doesn't really matter what one you use. You need a slab. That'll work too. It doesn't matter what type of slab you use. And we're gonna punch this out. So basically, now that you have this little thing set up here, you're gonna need a block here too. So when it turns night, time set night. And a zombie spawns in. Uh, it has to be hard mode, so it's a hundred percent, uh, or like a uh, twenty percent chance for it to be able to pick up items. I just sure hope this guy has the capability of being able to do that. He doesn't. Well, that's great. Mom, you have the capability of doing it? Mom, buddy. Maybe he can't pick up a pumpkin. Maybe. Cobble. Mom, buddy, you want the cobble? Does this guy seriously not have the ability either? That's annoying. It's on hard mode, right? Yeah, we're on hard. I guess we're just getting really unlucky. Are we really getting that unlucky? Well, normally the way to do it is you want to get a zombie to pick up an item, but it isn't working in this case, so we're just going to name tag him. So basically what you want to do is when you name tag the zombie, so let's just pretend this guy's- Ah, okay, he spawned with a weapon, that's great. Oh, by the way, naturally spawned zombies with naturally spawned weapons don't work. You have to toss them, because they just won't work. Or toss them a sword. Fool! You're supposed to... This is the problem with doing this. Normally it works just fine, but sometimes you get idiots like this. One. Ow! Ugh, this is the problem with this. I have to go kill that skeleton. So, let's try and get him up here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, you know you want to come up here. Now, what you want to do, is you want to get him jumping. He has to be jumping. Why is he not? Okay, okay, now he's jumping. Now we don't want to fall. Now, is he in? He's in! Look at that! Now he's completely in! There's no way for him to escape. Now what you want to do, is so he doesn't burn in daylight. It, oh my gosh, this guy's getting... He's gonna kick me! At, got him. Now I'm at one heart, and I'm probably gonna die. But now that he's in, you want to put a block up here. And then either... Uh, that won't work, you need a button there. So you need either a button or a half slab there, so a golem doesn't spawn on it. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I don't remember a half slab part, do they? I'm pretty sure they do. Well, uh, I just prefer a button because, well, for one, it's cheaper, and two, it sure does look better. Um, but yeah, that's how basically you get the zombie in. Um, if this did help you or you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!